I feel good, and yeah, I'm, I'm planning on playing this week. I'm cleared, so I'm excited. After being out uh, this last game, what did you see just from your vantage point at the end of the game, just kind of assessing what's going on with the defense right now? Um, I think a lot of that, I mean, we've we talked about it in the past, is is just execution and, and being consistent. I mean, we played we played good football for a lot of the game, and then we just missed assignments. They were able to, to capitalize on that. And so um, that's, our, that's our focus right now, and that's something that I saw. It was a different perspective seeing that um, being on the sidelines. And so I'm definitely looking forward to – I mean, finishing this week off in practice really hard and, and going up to Boise State. We, we hear the execution and need to execute a little better. Yeah. What, what specifically are you guys not, is it, is it maybe misreading a play? When you say you're not executing, yeah. what, what do you mean? I think, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of different things. It's getting your, I mean, every single play, every player has keys. I mean, whether it's offensive lineman, running back, receiver, you have keys that you have to be clued in on. And, and that's something that, and a lot of times we're not looking at our keys. A lot of times we're misreading the play, and and that's kind of I mean it's a it's it's a bunch of different things that are coming into play. And so we just need to be more disciplined and and more focused in in practice so that we can be prepared to do it. As a senior and a captain, how difficult is it to be a leader when you're not able to play because of an injury? It's I, it's hard. It's really hard. Um, I wanted to be out there. I mean more than anything, but. I mean, it was also an opportunity for me to lead on the side sideline and coach guys up and and try to motivate and um, but definitely and never want to be on the sideline when you have an opportunity can, to contribute. Some guy like Kai who's just getting his, his most uh, most time he's been able to play. Yeah. What about his development? How you can help him in that situation? Yeah, I think I mean when he went in the past two games, I think he did well. He made plays mm -hmm. and he's a great athlete and um, he's a guy that definitely is, he has a future here at safety and he's going to do really well and so. Um, it's fun for me being able to to work with him and I mean learn from him and some of the things that he does. But also, I mean, I've I've played in a lot of games here, and so I can kind of, from my experience, help him to understand a little bit more about technique and the plays and how we do things. Have you helped the younger guys maybe understand how to roll with the punches a little bit? I mean, you know, three losses in a row is tough to to swallow and, and focus on the next activity. But you've had experience going through this, so. Yeah, um, I mean, I've never had three losses in a row, and so I mean, it's something new. It's just. I mean, football is a—it's a mental game, and you can't get down on yourself. You can't dis get discouraged because that's just going to hurt you worse. And so, I think it's just—I mean, we're focusing on and trying to—I mean, be realistic, staying positive, um, but also addressing the needs and the, the concerns that we need to to fix. And so, I mean, it's a balance, but it's definitely a, a mental game that you can't get discouraged. I mean, three losses, but all we can do is look at the film, fix the things that we need to fix, and and move on to Boise State. What have you seen from Boise State? They seem to be a pretty efficient offense. Yeah, they have players that can make plays. Um, they they do some good things and and they do a lot of different different things with their offense. A lot of formations and I mean, especially this week, we're going to have to be extremely clued in on what what they're doing and um, have a lot of communication. Be prepared and um, be able to understand what they're trying to do. Trick plays seem to be brought up quite a bit when you face Boise. Mm -hmm. How can you how can you prepare for something like that? I think just like what we've been talking about is just everyone has a key on a play. And that's the thing with trick plays is just trying to get some, one person in, in the wrong spot. And so if we're all clued in on our specific keys, then we should be fine. You guys play Boise State every year. Does the team consider them a rival at all? And are there any similarities between the programs that you've seen? Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider them a rival. I think, I don't know. Uh, they're, we know they're a good team, and it's exciting to play them. Um, but similarities, I don't, I, I don't know. I haven't drawn much similarities between the two teams. What do you remember about that game two years ago up there? What stands out in your mind? <laughs> um, just a defensive struggle. Um, I remember our defense had a huge goal line stand, um, and that was big for our defense, the confidence of our defense that year. And um, unfortunately, we weren't able to put up points, but um, it was a defensive struggle. How the coaches work to keep you guys focused and, and, and keep the discouragement from taking over? I think it's just, again, it's, I mean, there's a, <clears throat> there's a balance between negativity and there's a balance between addressing things that need to be addressed and, and, and fixing things. And so um, it's just addressing things that, that need to be fixed. I mean, we know as players that we're not playing to our potential. And so the coaches come in and they address that. And, and hopefully the guys don't get um, offended by that, and I think the coaches are doing a really good job right now in addressing what needs to happen, what we need to change in order to, to win games. And so I think right now they're doing a really good job, um, and uh, so we're just going to press forward and, and, and go on.